All right, welcome to our video tutorial on how to migrate your mail out of Mac Mail and into our new Crew uh, Google Mail system. Um, if you are like me, um, you are a, a heavy um, Mac user. You love how everything worked together, and so uh, part of that used Mac Mail. Uh, I had a lot of stuff under on my Mac uh, in an archive. Um, but now we don't have space limitations. I'm loving the 25 gigs. Uh, I love how I can search it instantly. I can even search it from my phone. I uh, saw so all my archive, everything. It's all available anywhere I am. It's really slick. And so I want to get this out of Mac Mail. Uh, I want to have it uh, uh, easily available and uh, backed up and not have to worry about uh, take care of that. So I'm going to get it off my Mac uh, and into our new Krugel, Google system. It's so easy to do. Uh, there. So here's my plan. I'm going to show you how to connect uh, Mac Mail up to our new Krugel, Krugel Google email. And uh, we'll move stuff over. And I'll show you one little trick, something you might run into that might cause problems. Um, and uh, that should be it. So let's go for it. So first, uh, let's bring up, you can either uh, do command comma, or you can click mail preferences brings up the uh, accounts window. We need to uh, click down here on the plus, add an account. It knows it's me, my personal ones connected, but uh, let's connect to my new crew.org or keynote.org or uh, whatever um, your specific ministry's email is and type in your password. Click continue. It will auto detect everything and log you in. Done. It won't actually uh, connect these up for you. Uh, we can talk more about that on a different tutorial, but this is for migrating your mail. Um, connects to IMAP, you can actually send uh, via SMTP. It uses the Gmail, you can edit the, the server list here and convince yourself, all right, it's connected to Gmail and it's using the right ports and uh, uses my password uh, and email security, so it's a secure securely sending your email. Well, that's it. That's all you have to do. There's no, you don't have to change anything. Um, oops, that was my Gmail personal. This is the Gmail at crew.org. Um, but I could do the exact same thing. Show that it's using crew.org and the correct ports. So it's actually the same setup as a personal Gmail. Um, so let's close this. And look what we got over here. So here's my, on my Mac, this is my archive. This is the stuff I want to get off my Mac. It's not, uh, it wasn't migrated over because it was on my Mac. Um, and up here, if you click on inbox, it's interesting. Uh, I'm not seeing anything inbox, but I got a lot of stuff. Here's the first catch I'm going to show you. Click this little arrow. There is a summer project uh, I directed a couple years ago. Um, still, it's part of my inbox. In fact, all of my mail when it came over was part of an inbox label. And um, that inbox label is a special label within Google. And so you need to change that and then everything will show up. So let's switch windows over to Chrome. And we have our labels across the side here. Um, I'm specifically looking for this one that starts with inbox, Sam's Club. If I click this little arrow next to it and click edit, I can change this to what I named all my email that was migrated over, I just kind of wanted to know it was old and, and have it. So I renamed the labels to old. You can figure out however, whatever system you want to come up with. So now it's no longer an inbox one. It'll be down here under old. Scrolled a little too far. Old Sam's Club. Great. So that's out of the inbox. We're going to migrate into here. Let's go back to mail. And uh, so there's that Sam's Club label. If you click on uh, the menu up here uh, under mailbox, there's a synchronize. And so it's synchronizing right now. That went away. We're reconnected. And now if I click on inbox, give it a second here. Oh, well, the two showed up, so that's good. Um, it should. There we go. Uh, all my mail came over. So great. Um, now it. Everything's working. Everything's happy. Um, so let's let's archive uh, our mail. Uh, let's get it off our Mac and into into Gmail. Uh, so here's my label I created in Gmail. Um, I just added a dash in front, so it's alphabetically at the top. 
Um, and uh, let's move um, friends in my Bible study folders over. So I just click and drag. You'll see that plus sign means it's uh, going to make a copy. So I let go and it's doing it in the background. We can click this activity and kind of um, convince ourselves. It's also um, syncing all my other folders, so that's a lot of that, but it, it's, it's going. Um, and that's it. It'll take a little while if it's a pretty big folder, uh, depending on your upload speeds, but uh, this should have been pretty small, pretty quick. So let's go back to, um, well actually, you know, we could probably do it here. Let's click Mailbox and Synchronize again uh, to see if Migrate uh, got some subfolders. Not seeing that yet. Let's try it again. Might take a little while. Never done it like this. Should work. But we'll check again in a sec. First, let's go over to uh, Chrome and see if uh, Chrome got the labels. So I click on Migrate, and there we go. There's Friends. Click on this, and we got Bible Site. So they came over, and if I click on the labels themselves, there's the emails. Yeah, this is cool. Um, uh, so mail that was also already here, it's, it found that it's labeled in other places. So mail that had been in two places, uh, it figured it out. Even these year one, that's interesting. So Google is pretty smart. It saw I already had the mail, and so it, it didn't double import it, it just relabeled it. That's really cool, because uh, I had mail and kind of double delivery for a while. So more features than I realized. Um, but now my mail is there, so I'm happy. It's there, I could go back over here to mail and um, and delete the stuff off my hard drive because I'm convinced it's there. Uh, let's try one more time doing a mailbox. I'm going to click synchronize Gmail. Let's see if interesting. I'm not seeing the sub label there. Hmm. Well, um, I know it's there. Let me try just for fun. Um, Kind of learning on a web tutorial, and this is the best way to do this. But uh, if I, no, 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 not remove the label. If I edit the label and I get rid of that dash, I click save. Give it a second here. Boom. So now it's alphabetically down here. Uh, and if I go back to mail, and uh, I'm going to click uh, mailbox synchronize Gmail again. So that it, there we go, move the, move the label down here to migrate. Ah, and now the folders are there. So, okay. So, um, evidently MacMail doesn't like um, a dash for the um, name of the, uh, the label. And so that mail is going to take a while to then re-download here. It's downloading everything. But, uh, um, so that might even be something you can see if it re-downloaded and, and you, you're happy. That, oh, there it came. So, there you go, just took a second. And it's all there. So, actually, really slick um, with that one little catch of making sure you uh, uh, don't have things labeled in your inbox, uh, having the inbox label, and then evidently having a dash um, can um, uh, mix things up for Mac mail. But uh, just with regular letters, everything works well. And um, I hope this really helps you.